a lot of sadness and depression and anger. It's a whole lot of emotions. A deadly weekend in what has been a deadly year in Phoenix. At least four people died in shootings just this weekend. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mitch Carr. And I'm Rachel Cole. And Phoenix crime data shows 2021 is outpacing last year's record-breaking number of homicides. As Team 12's Michael Dowdner reports, those numbers are all too real for some of these families. In 48 hours, four shootings, at least four dead. It was another deadly weekend in a year that has already seen more than 112 murders in Phoenix alone. I, it's horrible that they end up just being a number. It's, they were a person, they had a life, they had families. Samuel Casas is more than a number, more than a victim. He was a friend and father to Dakota's eight-year-old son, Jaden. Watch this, Daddy. He was a great father and he had so many plans and things he wanted to do with Jaden. But on August 7th, Samuel was shot while being robbed outside of his Phoenix apartment. He would call Dakota while waiting for help. I could instantly tell something was wrong. He couldn't speak. I just heard him crying in pain. And I heard all the background noise of put pressure, call 911. Samuel is one of the at least 112 people murdered in Phoenix this year. No, the numbers are not surprising. That's Jeff Hines, a Glendale Community College professor who spent more than three decades with Phoenix PD. He agrees with the Phoenix Law Enforcement Association's assessment that the force is understaffed by as many as 1,000 officers. That, coupled with a Justice Department investigation, can make officers reactive instead of proactive. It's going to be an incredibly horrible time to be a police officer in the city of Phoenix over the next year. But in the meantime, it's the people who feel the pain, like the son now without a father. He's not going to be there for his birthdays or his graduation. And it's the families that truly understand the real cost of rising crime. He has all these questions of why. And and he always says, I miss my daddy. And every time, it just breaks my heart more. Now, Samuel's family says so far that police have told them they have no leads in this case. Of course, they want to see that change. Now, if you'd like to help the family or Jaden, we'll have links to the family's GoFundMe online in the very near future. Guys, back to you.